Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabita fillah a question was asked about doing talab al-ilm going to the university and doing righteous sadaqah and charity and good deeds and the questioner mentioned that they are a university student and that they also have a strong desire to seek knowledge and to excel and to memorize the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and memorize something from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which is immense and beautiful and absolutely noteworthy and praiseworthy. They also mentioned that <clears throat> along with those goals that some of their colleagues have set out to begin to do some charitable uh, acts and charitable ventures and that they want to be a part of it but they want to know is that going to what should they focus on should that should they be doing and involving themselves in that dawa dawa activities or charitable activities or focus on their studies so habatifillah this comes down to first and foremost what the individual knows he or she can or cannot do and it also comes down to discipline and setting goals for oneself so this is a noble venture to to help with dawah and to help with these other activities as long as they don't take away from your goals the things that you're trying to do and they do not necessarily have to meaning that you can do those righteous acts that righteous dawah and work with people you don't have to do that all the time do it maybe once a, a, a week involve yourself in a limited fashion but continue to devote your energy to the studies that you have to do to finish your university and to memorize the book and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it's about keeping a balance. It's about maintaining something that's consistent, a consistent balance. Some people cannot do many activities and some people are blessed where they can do many activities and some people are somewhere in between. So you have to know about yourself, what you're able to do and how you're able to achieve and succeed. And I want to end by just one hadith of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because this is such a noble goal or perhaps two hadith of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One of them is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, خَيْرَكُمْ مِنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَهُ The best of you are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it. The best of you are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam said, مَنْ سَلَكَ تَرِيكٍ يَلْتَلْمَسُهُ بِهِ عِلْمٍ سَحَّلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ تَرِيكٍ إِلَّا جَنَّةٍ Whoever traverses the path to gain Islamic knowledge, عِلْمَ النَّافِعَ Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So meaning that Talib al-ilm is a means and a path to paradise. So do those things. Ahras. Ala man yanfa'ak. Ala ma yanfa'ak. Kama qala Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Be vigilant in those things which benefit you. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ala Nabi and Muhammad. وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم